Good morning and welcome to Own Physics 365. Physics every single day of the year. Physics past, present, and future. The podcast doors are closing. All right, friends, hello and welcome to today. Saturday, January 23rd, 2016, Poland Physics 365, Physics Every Single Day of the Year. I'm your host, Eli Hibbett, and I'm uh, I'm doing well. We got a little bit of snow here on Long Island, New York, and uh, all right. I want to wish a little happy birthday out to uh, a potential listener, and if you're listening, happy birthday. So... Not say anything else about that, but let's dig into on this day in physics, 23rd January 1907. We we're going to say happy birthday also to Hideki Yukawa, 1949's Nobel Prize winner, who predicted the existence of the pion. He won the Nobel Prize for quote his prediction of the existence of mesons on the basis of theoretical work on nuclear forces. So he just sort of, you know, prophesied its existence, and then it was discovered exactly to be so. And so they gave him the prize for that, for predicting that. So let's move on to our word of the day, which is wave-particle duality. And that is an embedded property of everything that exists. Every atom, quark, photon, car, person, planet, galaxy can partially be described as a particle and partially described as a wave. Louis de Broglie, or Louis de Broglie, was able to describe the wave-like property of matter as follows. Lambda equals h over p, where lambda is the wavelength, h is Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds, and p is the particle's momentum. So, how come if everything has a wave-like part, we're not oscillating all over the place? The answer lies in this de Broglie wavelength. When you consider something as large as a fly, or even as large as a person, the wave-like part is so small it is simply unnoticeable. However, when you're considering something the size of an electron, this becomes much more noticeable. The wavelength of a 0.511 mega electron volt electron, that's the amount of energy that it has, is roughly 1.23 nanometers. Still very small, but these wavelengths are now on the same scale as the particle to which it is associated. By comparison, a 50 kilogram, or 110 pound person walking at a speed of 2 meters per second, gets some momentum, would have a de Broglie wavelength of about 6.63 times 10 to the minus 36 meters. So there you go. So you do have a wavelength. Don't <laughs> don't worry. You are not excluded, but uh, it's very small. So, all right. Let's take a look at our killer resource. Uh, here I have an article about both of these properties with respect to light. So light also has a particle Uh, section, as well as its more commonly known wave-like section, and this article images, shows an image of the light and particle personas, or aspects of light, demonstrated for the first time. So there we go. Wave-particle duality, ladies and gentlemen. Head on over to the blog, pwnphysics.blogspot.com, if you want to dig a little deeper. And with that, I think I'll catch you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Doors are reopening. You may now resume normal life functions.